Hello everyone, Frankie Day here. Okay guys, I, I wish everybody had a very beautiful weekend and a very nice Sunday today and tomorrow's the uh, beginning of a new week. And uh, I got a lot, a lot of work to do out here next week. Uh, I gotta get my folk up shaking, that'll be up next. Okay fellas, uh, the video for this evening is gonna be video number four for my summer build of my Danish training ship, Denmark. Uh, the hull is completely been painted. It's all done, and uh, all it needs is a red boot topping between the green and the white. And uh, without further ado, it's 100% finished. And the fun start, the fun stuff has just now started. And uh, like I can make deck furniture, I got slack the decks, do some staining here and there, and do some touch-up work here and there. Put the figurehead on there, and put the uh, scrolling along the bow and the decals and and uh, the bill will follow. So right now folks I got the uh, as you can see behind me I got the white and the, and the, and the green painted on there today. I did about uh, 14 coats of white on it and about seven coats of green and I use a local coach colored paints which is my best using lacquer paints which I like to use on wooden kits so this model is uh, virtually taking shape and starting to look like the Denmark without no mistake about it. Uh, before I get started on schlacking the decks and everything like that, I need to do some cleaning. I got a sanding stick over here. I'm going to start sanding over some of the overspray from the primer, which wasn't very much. Just enough to let you know it was there. And it needs to be removed. So I got to clean up the decks a little bit here. It won't take long and start the schlacking. And once the decks are completely schlacked, and uh, polyurethane and 100% uh, and, uh, finished. I'm going to go ahead and start working on the bulkheads. I got to put the frameworks, the bulkhead frames on the, uh, the inside of the bulwarks. They need to be done. I'll be using probably sheet styrene for that. And uh, I got to touch it up. I got to mask off the deck around the waterways and, that, and uh, give a touch up airbrush of that, of the white inside there. And then I got to stain install my pin rails uh, once they're done the fun stuff will start to begin that's the deck furniture and that's going to be a time consuming labor of love right there involved so that's going to follow too after the decks are all done and the bulwarks are all finished so you got to make sure that the whole hull sub assembly is completely finished when you start adding more stuff in other words you start putting a lot of deck furniture and fittings on top of your deck you're going to clutter your your work area you won't be able to do a better job so it's good to have all your deck furniture off, make sure that the bulwarks are 100% ship shape like the way it's supposed to be. And I got to make, make, make my chain plate uh, eye, eye ports too that uh, hook up to my turnbuckles for the shrouds. They got to be installed, they got to be drilled out. So I got a lot of wor little work here, but like I say folks, the hard part's over with having the hull done and painted. And like I say, a plank and bulkhead kit, they're, they, uh, they're tedious and they're, they're difficult. Uh, once you get it, once you get the system down, it's child's play. So without further ado, and uh, without enough chatter right here, we'll go over my high and take a look at the uh, mighty Denmark and uh, tell me what you guys think about her, and uh, and uh, we'll take a good look at it and discuss how much was done on it, and uh, come back to yours truly, and and uh, finish up the video. The camera's friendly, Denmark is friendly. Let's take a peek. There she is, folks. That thing is smooth. Glass smooth. It almost looks like a plastic kit. That's the way I like them, folks. Especially on a steel hull ship. When you're using planking in a frame, you got to make sure that stuff is smooth as a baby's rear end. And it was even a little more. And I uh, got the portholes all on there, as you can see. You can see on the decks right here, right along the sheer rubbing rub, rub rail up here. That's got to be clean because when I had that masking tape, when I airbrushed, even primed, some of that spray kind of crept underneath the edge of the tape. Just a little bit, about a sixteenth of an inch, not very much, just in intermittent areas, you know. So it's got to be sanded with one of these uh, sanding sticks I have over here. My famous sanding stick. A little sand here and there, 
smooth it out, take some steel wool to it, smooth it out, and go ahead and start using polyurethane, which is being right here, this is my favorite right here. I can run through my airbrush right here. Excuse me, folks. I... There you go, guys. There she is right there. The stuff from, I get at the hardware store all the time. It's good. Good stuff. And uh, I'm going to steal wool next time real well after the first coat. I'm going to apply the first coat of this on here. Once it's dry, I'm going to take some steel wool and burnish that stuff in and go ahead and add more coats to this polyurethane. And before you know it, that deck will be smooth as this here hole right here. And uh, go ahead and proceed with the uh, deck furniture next. And um, as we go down there, you can see uh, how slim and how sleek she is. We've got the, um, the screw on there, I think. Yeah, I got the screw on. And I got the rudder. All the portholes alongside the share of the deck is on. As you can see. Deck furniture right there, folks. Again, is just on there just to see how it looks. And I got the scrolling right here which comes with this kit. This scrolling is going to fit right along here. It'll fit right across here. This will be airbrush will be primed and airbrush from gold. And uh, these are the pieces of port and starboard here. And also uh, the Denmark incorporated the figurehead. Now, um, if I can find it in these box of fittings, guys, keep my back here for a second. Aha! said the blind man. Here's this fitting head, this, uh, the figure head which goes on the, on the stem, on the, on the stem. Fits nicely right there. I think he is painted white. I think he's white. And the, uh, maybe gold, I don't know. I could take a look at the plans. The plans on this kit don't give you a paint schedule on there. If it was, it probably got lost during the passage of time. So anyway, folks, that's how this fits right across here. So you guys get a pretty good idea of how it fits. And um, this is a very beautiful looking ship it is, guys. Once I get it all rigged up and everything, it's going to be a it's be a nice model. And like I say, I got these these fittings here are are beautiful. And I got these chancers on here. That I got to add on here also as well. And with these transfers, they gave me two dam marks. I don't know why they did that. In case you flub up the other one, you can put another one on there. But, uh, only thing I'm going to question of, since this is an old kit, I hope those decals don't disintegrate once I add them to water. So, what well, I'm going to go ahead before I do that, I'm going to give a good coat of the dull coat. And, uh, preserve that decal film. Let's go ahead and take it off. That'll keep it stuck, keep it together. Uh, so far, those decals look like they're pretty thick. I don't think they'll disintegrate on I me. Mean, it may take a while for it to come off the backing sheet, but in any case, it's, it's got a, this goes on the stern. This goes on top of the scroll of the stern here, too. I guess Denmark goes, uh, I got two forward and two aft. Maybe more than that. Who knows? I go check check with the plans. Like I say, the plans of this kit leaves a lot to desire, but you got to understand the, the, the format, how the plans were designed, and you, you just got to keep looking, folks. You just got to keep looking the, at, uh, at the plans all the time, because virtually you'll, you'll, you'll see it there if you just, uh, just keep looking. Okay, guys, this concludes uh, video number four, uh, the update for my summer build of the Billings kit of the Danish training ship, uh, Denmark. And uh, she is done. Hull's all finished now. And uh, I'm happy. The kit's happy. And uh, let let this dry. Add the boot topping on tomorrow. Then I'll go ahead and clean up the decks. And then I start doing the, uh, the polyurethane, the shellacking of it. Get those to get them all lacquered up real well. Make sure that anything that needs to be drilled for the decks got to be done now before uh, I start adding uh, uh, the uh, polyurethane on the, on the deck. So I got about uh, 10, 15, 20, I got about 25, I got 45 uh, 
chain plate eye port holes that fit through the waterways of which go pass through the pin rail up into the turnbuckles. They got to be installed. I think there were chains. So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add chains to that and see if them off to the eyelet to the uh, pad eyes and uh, all to the chain, going through the chain plate and hook up my turnbuckles. And uh, so I've got a lot of work, so like I say folks, I'm right inside the bulkheads there, I gotta have these frames on the side there. And uh, on the real one, you can see the frame sticking on there, but like most, most uh, wind jammers, they have a lot of frames on there. And on top of the big frames right here, which made the, the hull itself, the pin reel fits on top there, so I tried, I dry fitted both of them. They, they go on there with, with uh, no fuss. And uh, I'm pretty happy with this right now. It's turning out like the way I planned. Like I say, shipbuilding is, is not a it's not a hurried hobby. It's 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 a time consuming hobby, and it's got to be uh, it's got to be done that way. You know, in other words, you'll you'll have a lot of mistakes and you'll regret it once it's done. And you know, you could have done better. Same thing with air, model airplanes, folks. It's a, the hobby is time consuming. You know, you go for a foot race, you're gonna make mistakes. So the key is just a little bit at a time put it aside and look at the kid and when we get a little time look at it and see if he did it right if it looks good looks bad tear it apart start over again so it's always best to uh, correct things as you go along that way uh, you won't have a bunch of uncorrected things on there once it's uh, all done that was then a, a problem and uh, you get somebody with a trained eye can see the boo-boos the boy made a mistake here and there and there you know and it's embarrassing sometimes so, take your time, boys. That's the word of the day. Okay, guys, we'll swing this big camera around me, and uh, we'll finish up the video. Here I am right here again. And uh, I had a good day today. I took my sailboat out for a sail, fellas, and uh, went sailing. And we had some nice winds out there at the, at the Metro Pond. I was sailing with my club out there. We had a good time. Got back and did the paint work on my damn mark, so... I have a pretty good day today. I think today is just a real nice day today, and uh, I, I read everything worked the way I planned. Okay, guys, uh, tomorrow I promise you I'll have a update video for my um, Foco from W190. Uh, right this video, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take it out while the Denmark is drying, and I'm gonna go ahead and start doing some free shading on it and get prepared for its. Uh, final colors in the finish of the assembly and get that final revealed. I will have that done this week, folks, I promise you. And uh, I'll still be working on the damn mark. This thing here just keeps calling on me. And uh, so I'm trying to get all these bills caught up. I got so much in my plate, guys, it's, it's incredible. But like I always got to do get them done. It may take uh, forever, but I'll get them done. And uh, so you guys keep me motivated and keep me inspired all the time. So I got a lot of energy in that direction. Okay, guys, um, I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in, and may God bless. I'm sorry I haven't guys, uh, got on your guys' uh, channel and uh, checked out your builds and uh, commented on, on the same. Been too busy on those damn mark, guys. I got about, I got almost 200 hours this thing already, and, and, and more than a week. So I got a lot of time best in this thing, and it shows. Okay, guys, uh, I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in, and may God bless. We'll catch you on the next video. So st tomorrow, stay tuned for the update of my Airfix 124 scale Focal 190. It'll be appreciated. And the uh, finished uh, and the um, I have the finished colors all done, and and uh, show that, and we'll go to the final reveal. Okay, guys, uh, I'm out of here right now. I got work to do. I gotta get that Poco fired up and get her, get her going. And uh, I like, God bless you guys. Please subscribe, make Mama happy, and we'll catch you guys on the uh, next video. Be good, boys. Take care, gentlemen.